And this is the Our Daily Bread devotional for today, Friday, January 17th, 2020. And the verse comes from Psalm 107, 23 through 32, New King James. Those who go down to the sea in ships, who do business on great waters, they see the works of the Lord and his wonders in the deep. For he commands and raises the stormy wind, which lifts up the waves of the sea. They mount up to the heavens. They go down again to the depths. Their soul melts because of trouble. They reel to and fro and stagger like a drunken man and are at their wit's end. And they cry out to the Lord in their trouble. He brings them out of their distresses. He calms the storm so that its waves are still. They are glad because they are quiet. He guides them to their desired haven. Oh, that man would give thanks to the Lord for his goodness, for his wonderful works to the children of men. Let them exalt him also in the assembly of the people and praise him in the company of the elders. And the commentary insight says the author of Psalm 107 is unknown. Many scholars believe it is written sometime after a remnant of Jews returned to Israel following their 70-year ex- exile in Babylon. The psalm features four types of people in distress and how God rescued them. They include those in the wilderness, people in captivity, those who are sick, and those in distress. In each section we find the refrain, They cried out to the Lord in their trouble, and he delivered them from their distress. And each time after God graciously delivers them, the people are exhorted, Let them give thanks to the Lord for his unfailing love and his wonderful deeds for mankind. Storm Chasers is the name of today's devotional by Bill Crowder. Chasing tornadoes, says Warren Fadley, is often like a giant game of 3D chess played out over thousands of square miles. The photojournalist Storm Chaser adds, Being in the right place at the right time is a symphony of forecasting and navigation while dodging everything from softball-sized hailstones to dust storms and slow-moving farm equipment. Fadley's words make my palms sweat and my heart beat faster while admiring the raw courage and scientific hunger. Storm chasers display I balk at throwing myself into the middle of a potentially fatal weather events. In my experience, however, I don't have to chase storms in life. They seem to be chasing me. That experience is mirrored in Psalm 107 as it describes sailors trapped in a storm. They are being chased by the consequences of their wrong choices. But the psalmist says they cried out to the Lord in their trouble and he brought them out of their distress. He stilled the storm to a whisper. The waves of the sea were hushed and they were glad when it grew calm. Whether the storms of life are out of our own making or the result of living in a broken world, our Father is greater. When we're being chased by storms, He alone is able to calm them or to calm the storm within us. When facing difficulties, where do you turn for help? How might you trust your Heavenly Father today, who is greater than your storms? Thank you, Father, that you're with me in my struggles Your power is greater than any storm on my horizon. All right, and the links are there if you want to check it out. And there's also a link they provided on the devotional website for uh, learning about uh, why suffering occurs. It's a 10-part audio series. Okay, and also some uh, really good worship songs go along with the same theme. So uh, click the like if you like. Leave a comment, question, prayer request. Be happy to write a prayer for somebody. All right. You guys take care. Take care. God bless. See you tomorrow.